Hello and welcome to this final 0.9.8.5 release demo. In this short video we will go through some of the new functionality which has been added to Swirewall, some of the improvements we've made, and give you a general update as to where the project is going in the next couple of months. Okay, so focus for this release was uh, mostly on reporting and bandwidth monitoring and usability. And we also made some changes uh, to restore some of the old functionality which was in the system and invested a considerable amount of time working with the reliability and load management. So the major features which were added with this uh, particular release was the reintroduction of user, IP and device based bandwidth reporting. Uh, we also revamped the user interface so we spent a lot of time uh, actually reworking a few of the components in the user interface, in particular the menu and navigation systems, to make it a lot easier for our users and network administrators to get around firewall and manage it efficiently. We also introduced a whole lot of new system metrics and made them visible using graphs and whatnot from the user interface. This enables users and also it enables the development team to uh, work out what's actually going on within firewall and make changes as needed. We also spent a bit of time revamping the or adding uh, stuff to the command line interface so the new Python interface which was added in the last release is still missing a lot of functionality but we invested a bit of time this sprint in uh, adding some of the functionality which we thought was very important and uh, the most noticeable part of that was actually the introduction of the ability to manage rule sets from within uh, the CLI. Okay, some improvements which were made. We uh, reinstated the block list and deny list feature. Uh, we reworked the logging. So logging is now outputted to the syslog daemon on your machine, which means you're able to control it just like any other log system under Unix. Uh, it also means that you're easily able to pass these logs to another system. And uh, during our extensive load testing, we found that in, in some cases, the log files would actually fill the hard drive up and so we let syslog uh, deal with that now. And of course, as with any release, uh, there were multiple bug fixes. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the new interface and have a look at some of the, uh, the bandwidth reporting functionality which is available. Under a considerable amount of load, so we have some scripts uh, running through VMs which generate a uh, several requests to major sites like Google and also some uh, they pull some test images down so there is a bit of load in the system however it has not been running for very long so the statistical data that's available is uh, quite small and let's log in so this is still uh, the default username and password of admin admin and the first thing that happens here is we get directed towards the um, dashboard so if you've used Firewall in the past, you'll see that the, we have sort of reworked this and you have the menu on the side which is expandable and collapsible rather than the drop-down boxes. So this means you should be able to easily click on something like, uh, for example, if I was to edit Firewall rules, I would click Firewall and then I get the option rules straight away. Everything is nicely categorized and we find that it's, uh, it it's a bit easier to use, it's a bit easier to navigate your way around. You can also see here that we have the introduction of the graphs, or the reintroduction of graphs, and you can see from this uh, total connections graph, there are about 15 to 20,000 active connections in the system, and you have a considerable amount of transfer on the ETH1 device. Okay, so maybe we take a look at the new reporting interface. And the VPN connection is a little slow. Okay, so when you first open reporting, you get a summary page of sorts. So you again see the total connections and the transfer by device. And the reason we've done this is we think that that is most valuable. You are now able to uh, have a quick glimpse at the top hosts in the system. And we can see the host on IP address 10.1.1.2 uh, is currently trans or downloading the most. I think this is the uh, guy which is running a spanner script. So if we take a look here, we get an hour by hour breakdown. 
and as I noted earlier, there are, this uh, particular build has not been running for very long, so there isn't a lot of data in the system. But as you can see, you can quite quickly get a glimpse as to what your users are doing, and uh, you can also use this information to build them. Okay. Also available is a summary by user and a summary by device. So we don't have any users running in this particular build, uh, but we are able to take a look at the summary by device. And we have two network interfaces in here, so we try ETH1. And here you get the uploads and the download rate, and again it's just for the last two hours. Okay, so that is the uh, the new reporting system. In the next couple of sprints, we would like to expand this and uh, firstly, actually to give information based on uh, which ports users have been using. And this will provide valuable uh, for not only getting some information on what's going on in your network and what kind of traffic is being passed, but also for billing. Okay, let's now have a quick look at the uh, metrics which, been, which have been introduced. So say you're interested in the number of connections which are running, or the, the case, or anything like that, so we can take a look. And you get a uh, kind of really verbose breakdown on the left-hand side, and then a breakdown by hour on the right-hand side. Okay, and maybe we take a look at the connections list. So here you're able to see the uh, complete drop down of connections and you can filter them. Uh, for instance, say I'm interested in what has been generated from 10.1.1.3. I can then filter and I only see connections from that host. Okay. All right, I hope you enjoyed that short demo. Uh, we will provide more videos on the Svile.net website to give you sort of a walkthrough into some of the functionality in the system at a later time. Alright, and what, what's next for the team? So the next sort of step uh, is to reinstate the traffic shaping functionality that we removed from the management interfaces. Uh, we would also like to introduce positive and negative event handling. Uh, now this means that we are able to perform something when something happens in the system and then undo it. That coupled with group-based event handling will mean that uh, say a user is transferring over 20 meg per second on a ridiculously fast link, um, then we want to shape them and when they stop then we want to unshape them. So it basically means when an event happens in the system you are able to associate rules with that and then when an event stops happening in the system you can take those rules out. Uh, we would like to rework the quota system, so we believe that um, being able to set limits and set quotas for users is extremely important. And so we want to sort of add a bit of functionality there and expand on what you can do with our quota system. We would also like to invest some time in some uh, better rule handling. So the current system uh, for adding or removing rules is not so user friendly, it could be better. And so we're introducing sentence based rules. And if we have time, we will get load balancing into the sprint. Uh, otherwise, it will be included in the next release. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and I would appreciate any feedback you can provide. And of course, you can download the latest version of Spirewall at http colon double forward slash Thank you.